or good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 14th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual end of day's stats and let's see exactly where this market finished. Initially, we certainly had a push higher with the German DAX testing the all time high and potentially even breaking through before we actually reversed and gave back all the gains in the back of the weaker inflation reading from the US, which sent the uh, the actual dollar lower and sent the uh, sterling and the euro higher, in turn hurting European equities. The FTSE 100 down 26 points towards the end. Initially, it did pop as high as uh, 7,544, uh, even though we had the weaker uh, wage uh, infl inflation data or wage real wages, uh, certainly coming in weaker than expected, therefore obviously risk negative. Uh, and before we actually reverse the the the, uh, the full gain, and obviously the uh, oil prices are uh, falling to forty four dollars, certainly hurt sentiment as well. The German DAX probably the only index afloat, up forty points, certainly remaining bullish. The French CAC down eighteen points. The FTSE MIB certainly negative as well, certainly coming under immense pressure there. Okay, so let's see exactly where we stand then, folks. Okay, uh, the. Um, Fundamentals, let's just go through the front for fundamentals chronologically speaking. In the morning, we started off with inflation numbers certainly coming in weaker than expected from the Eurozone. Then we had the uh, wage uh, wage data, average earnings excluding bonus coming in at 1.7%, average earnings including bonus coming in at 2.1%, so much more, much lower than expected. Uh, claimant count certainly coming the uh, uh, claimant count coming in slightly better than expected, but still. It's certainly negative in terms, regardless of how many jobs you have, the real wages are falling and therefore it's eroding consumer uh, disposable income and therefore obviously risk negative for the UK economy. Eurozone industrial production came in in line, actually came in slightly, well yes, it came in in line month on month, yearly slightly better than expected. Employment chain came in slightly better than expected as well for the Eurozone, so therefore helped the Eurozone to a large extent. Retail sales from the US came in weaker than expected, okay, so again risk negative. Uh, CPI data came in weaker than expected, which in turn forced the dollar lower and has certainly helped the uh, US uh, economy so thus far, or helped the US equities thus far, or thus far and on the expectation that Miss Yellen will be less hawkish going forward. Business inventories came in on the weaker side as well. Now we await Miss uh, Yellen. My understanding and my reading of the matter personally is the fact that Miss Yellen is going to maintain a hawkish stance and downplay the transitory nature of the weakness in inflation due to the fact that uh, it is uh, temporary given the uh, fall in oil prices that's my understanding okay that's my interpretation also given the fact that our fall in the oil prices certainly does act as a potential stimulus for for um, for the consumer i think that in and of itself obviously will be uh, will be positive for the market to a large extent okay but miss yellen certainly will go ahead with rate cut rate hikes which in turn obviously is negative and she certainly thinks that, oh, from my understanding and my interpretation, I think she thinks that the stock market can certainly with, with, withstand that. Okay, so uh, I can certainly cushion that, cushion that as well. Now, my understanding is that given the fact that the US dollar now is certainly at its uh, low, uh, now she certainly has the ability and she certainly has the uh, perfect time, given the fact that, I mean, if you were to raise rates up here, she could have, here, 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 this is a perfect opportunity to raise rates. That's my understanding anyway, okay? If she fails to raise rates or fails to be as hawkish as everybody expects, then you are going to see one hell of a sell-off in the dollar, and which in and of itself is is deflationary, okay? So Sorry, inflationary for the US economy, but deflationary for the world economy. So it really is a tight line. I mean, they've certainly been attempting to downplay the rate hike for quite some time now, okay? Uh, today really is... She'll, she'll lose any credibility she has, okay? So I think it's more of a credibility question than the actual status quo in terms of the markets themselves. Okay, so uh, that's the summation in terms of fundamentals, really. Let's look at the actual uh, European uh, equities now. As you can see here, the German DAX broke out higher, broke out to 12,920. Very, very impressive thrust there. And then eventually gave back all the gains on the stronger euro. The euro currently trading at 1.1280 zone now and therefore risk negative for the German DAX, okay? Daily chart as well, you can see a topping tail, certainly uh, put in, so again, it was a fake out, okay? It wasn't a breakout, it was a fake out, back right, back below that key resistance line on the German DAX, okay? So keep an eye on that, 
Okay, keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move. 60 minute chart, you certainly have higher highs and higher lows, so you have to respect it from that perspective. Let's just take the pivot uh, high to here. I mean, even then we took out the uh, key resistance zone. So impressive. Nevertheless, let's just keep that for now. You have two unfilled gaps below. 10 minute chart certainly uh, depicts that very clearly. Uh, you do have support around the 12,760 and then the 12,670 zone as well. Okay. In terms of the uh, CAC, let's just see exactly where the CAC is. The CAC certainly was flushed quite substantially today. Certainly hurt. Okay. In terms of the reversal. Certainly are into gap fill support now on the CAC at 5240 or 5, yes, 5240. So certainly looking for support here. In terms of the daily chart on the French CAC, let's just have a look back again at the 5240 zone. If we crack below, we're going down to 5140 and 5060 gap fill. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up this index. This certainly was clobbered. Uh, daily chart again, certainly putting in a topping tail and obviously reversing quite substantially. 60 minute chart holding that key resistance zone at the 7544 zone and then reversing quite sharply. Uh, you do have potential support below now at uh, 7450, which interestingly is gap fill on the daily chart. So you have gap fill below at 7450. So let's see how that responds. You certainly have some uh, support uh, in this region. So watch out for support here. Okay. In terms of the FTSE, certainly looking for a potential bounce. There is an argument for a potential bounce. If oil prices continue to, to obviously move lower, FTSE will continue to come under pressure as well. Let's just bring up the chart of oil. Let's see exactly where oil prices are at present. Certainly flushing to the downside quite substantially now. You have horizontal support around the 44 and then obviously key support of 44.2. Historical support here at uh, 44 again. So very, very critical juncture. Again, gasoline stock certainly came in stronger than expected. The uh, inventory data and which in turn caused the uh, oil prices to fall quite substantially so let's see if the market recovers it okay right i think that's a good summation really of uh, european indices please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now